Hey, hey everybody, it's Omed Caroline, and you're probably like, what are you doing out there sitting on the ground by your car? Well, this is my sweet Jeep, and I want to show you the bumper, but I want to show you what the bumper looked like this morning. I'm going to stick the picture here. So anyways, this morning, Ted and I woke up and we heard the mailman pull in to deliver some packages, and all of a sudden we heard a kind of a boom and then we were like, what was that? And then the mailman left. And then we walked downstairs and my bumper was smashed in. So the mailman hit my car when he delivered the packages. But what is really crazy is we called the police to come out and do a police report, you know, just in case I got to go through insurance and to, you know, be able to call the post office and let them know what's going on. So. Um, he starts writing down all the information and he says, well, we'll get to it tomorrow. So I am like, okay, so I'm not too worried about it. You know, I mean, it's a Jeep. Jeeps are made to look tough. And all of a sudden the police officer calls me and he said, listen, I just pulled over the postman and I found the guy who delivered to your house and you know him. And I'm like, what? So they come to my house and it's like, one of my son's best friends in high school that um, actually delivered the packages and he didn't even realize when he was backing up because we have an L-shaped driveway that he hit my car. So he was like really stressed out, worried about his jobs because you can't be getting in accidents. So I was like, you know what, don't worry about it, you know, and the police officer said we didn't even file the report yet, so you guys work it out. So anyway, so I'm like, you know, bumming because he's a young guy starting his life, you know, he don't need this stress and money. So I've been watching on YouTube, all these people that heat up their bumpers and pop it out, you guys. So I actually used my blow dryer and I heated it up and I stuck my arm way, way down in here. And I, I stayed, kept my hand there until I could feel the heat on the other side. And when I felt it feel really hot, I just start pushing it took a lot of muscle so yeah make sure you're working out if you're gonna do it or get your man to do it but anyways I pushed and it popped out look at it so it's a little rough a little rough scratches but it's okay it's a Jeep it should look like that but anyways I'm so excited I cannot wait to call him and let him know he ain't got to worry about nothing I'm not even taking it to the body shop because I took it to old man Caroline's body shop and she fixed it for zero boom so anyways you guys it worked really good i do recommend um this gets really soft so like if you go to pop it out please use like a two by four or use your hand because i really think if you used a screwdriver it would probably stab and poke a hole through it so yeah just a tip for you but anyways yeah that's what happened to me today ted you want to yeah. say hi can you believe it worked i can't believe it I, I know, and I called Ted out, and I'm like, what were you thinking? Did you think I had it popped out? I, I didn't know yet. I know. I, I did it. You two people. I love you two people. I was going to take it with me, wasn't I? I was going to film the whole dang thing. Yeah. And I was like, eh, because I look like heck today. But yeah. But anyways, wanted to share that with you guys. It works, and I'm pretty pumped about it. I cannot wait to tell them the good news. Boom. All right. Bye.